Already, we got a Patreon recommendation. No um, way. Yeah, yes, no way. Sir. Yes, way, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah. So for those people seeing this kind of come out of the blue, this actually got recommend. Uh, somebody asked for it as well in the Discord. So crazy how that aligned. But shout out to Ash, the goat of our Patreon. You know that. Been around for a minute now. Um, I think this is the second video of yours that we're doing. I think it's the second recommendation. Yes. So here we go. It is a compilation. Trigger Happy TV. Oh. Best of Series 2 Absolute Jokes. Boom. Here we go. It looks a bit dated by this first clip, but here it is. Let's get right into it, man. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm in an internet cafe! Is that a Internet! Joke? No, I'm trying to download the what what? No! Okay! That's rubbish! (laughs) Joe! That's that's nice. That's good. of the parking rules. Sorry, I've got to give you a ticket, mate. Run them off. Nothing Run them I off. can do about that. You live and learn. <laughs> yes. You live and learn. Uh, something oh, what the? Oh, my God. Is he a snail? Oh. <laughs> now you can run him over. So now it's acceptable. What would you do? <laughs> I get out the car with the punk kick of like Randy Orton. <laughs> then, then he wouldn't be murdered. Up. I think I would drive over him and then back up and drive over him again <laughs> and then drive over. I like that. Alright, oh, he's busy. That's that fast drive away. I would have gotten out and kicked him. If you changed your mind. But like. Uh, not like kick okay. stone. If I saw that, I would have went after him. Ball drinks. Oh, yeah. Hello. Um, can I have one ninety nine with a flake? Sure. That's what you want. That's what you're gonna get. Can you? Uh, is there any way of getting any? Yeah. Drink? Whatever you want, buddy. Whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. What is this? No sex, no drugs, no wine, no women, no. Everyone 
They're dressed as gorillas, aren't they? They're dressed as gorillas. Observe the power of the Morris dance. Bro. They need to leave old people alone, bro. <laughs> one of the cheeses is Twazza cheese, the other is ordinary cheddar. We blindfold you, you try one of each. If you identify Twazza cheese, you get £10. Simple as that. I've never had Twazza cheese. Well, this is the point of the advertisement, it's okay. quite new, okay? Advertisement. If I can ask the Twazza mouse to blindfold you. When darkness falls across this old sky. I'd never let a man yes, blindfold me. He's <laughs> wrong. I'm done. For you that night. Oh, yeah. But still shadows they come Am I safe in your arms? Can I be your source of strength tonight? I'll wait for the day when you right, he has a red hat too. the wind All right. and hold me Smash into my life and now hold me Don't set me free Painting for La Lune et la Fromage. Refusing to use traditional painting techniques, oh, these are funny. the artist mixed bodily fluids with the remains of his dog's lunch. <laughs> these are funny, and asked bro. a close friend to actually do the painting whilst he watched through a window from his garden. <laughs> you turn it down a bit, hey? please. Can you turn it down? Oh, yeah, sorry. Really loud. Sorry. <laughs> I'm drunk for your love. Speed into my life. And speak to me now. Oh, just speak to me, someone. For I know your taste. Excuse me, sorry to bother you. I'm looking for Jean-Michel Rousseau's restaurant, face. La Tour d'Escargot d'Argent. Do you know it around here? Is he kind? No. All oh, right, I, that's uh, Jean-Michel, that's the chef. Yes, it did. I met him too. last year at the second round of the International Patisserie Awards oh. in Vienna, yeah. and he said if I was in London, I should pop in. But uh, he doesn't know I'm coming, and he didn't give me the address. He was actually not very keen to give me the address, so... Oh, you no know. idea. Oh, well. Have you actually eaten there? It's a marvellous restaurant. He does a medaillon de veau paupillette uh, with a little drizzle of truffle oil. Does this say some little chateau jus yeah, of uh, so. potatoes with a little jus fondant, a little pick of pocolos, and it's, it's a wonderful meal if you ever get the chance. Yeah. So, that I really anyway, I could, no oh, idea where he is. OK, well, thank you very much. Sorry to bother you. If I saw that, I would laugh my asshole. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. Open home. Hello? That's briefcase wanker at his job. Yes. Uh, mini cap for Mr. Gund, please. Huh? Mini cap for Mr. Gund. Mr. Gund. Uh, okay. Just try and find him. What do you want? <laughs> I'm just trying to find him. Okay. Mr. Gond! Mr. Gond! Mini cap! <laughs> Mr. Gond! Mr. Gond! Mini cap! Bath 
Uh, you've kindly allowed us here into the Arboretum in uh, Longleat House. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about the actual grounds here in Longleat? Well, there's various bits, like this Arboretum was uh, started, oh, probably, it, it was always here, but it's been grown up as an Arboretum just over the last 30 years. Oh, sorry, can I just stop one sec? Oh, I'm sorry. The hell? Okay. I've got this thing, it's really... You, you want, want to come, <laughs> go away and come back? No, I think I'll be right for a moment. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got diarrhea, I got a food poisoning from... Okay, we'll try that again. You gonna be all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Um, Lord, Lord Bath, uh, we're here in the Arboretum of Longleat House. Could you tell us a little bit more about the gardens here and the grounds? This particular, well, we call this the Pleasure Walk, and it's, um, we've been planting it up with special trees so that it's of particular in interest <laughs> to, to um, people in silver culture. Uh -huh. um, it's not so much a flowering part of the park, but there are rhododendrons there. Is it's, he going to pop? Oh, oh, shit. Oh! oh my Ow. I'm sorry about this, Your Majesty! <laughs> Tommy, you all right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Man, is that a good one? Tommy, show one. Excuse me, yeah. let's have a quick word. Are you a student here at yes, the university? I am. Can I ask you what you're reading? Is that I'm here? studying Chinese and law. Right, have you thought about what you might do when you graduate? Um, kind of, because I'm applying for internships at the moment, but right. I'm keeping my options entirely open. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I right. represent the British Intelligence Services, MI5 oh, nice. and MI6. Yes. And basically, I'm here on a sort of recruitment day, right. whereby we're looking to wonder whether people come in for a quick interview. Right. Um, if I give you my card... I'd love to, actually. Um, I've just recently applied for the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Right, and this is slightly No, I know, and obviously. I put on my application from that I was looking at intelligence work as well. And okay. I mean, basically what we want is to be able to put someone up in a sort of foreign country in the language they speak. Yeah. We'd set you up for two years, be absolutely no problem. You'd wait for the phone call. Right. And the phone call came, a slip throat, some sort of, I don't know, sexual activity, which might be able to get us information. Hey. And then that would be, it would be a one-off payoff. Okay. So it would be a sleeper, so you'd be able to get your own job. Yeah. But it would mean that when that phone call came, you'd yep. have to drop your life, yep. do whatever it is we so asked. I have no attachments at all, and I'm got no really attachments. up for adventure. I love adventures. Yeah. This is proper adventures yeah, we're yeah, talking about. I'm I mean, like, really I mean, I take it, but, but we could be talking about... Yeah, that's, that's absolutely Holy fine. Okay, well, why don't you give that drunk. number a ring yeah. right. and say mugwuffin, which is the word which says you, you spoke a, to me. Mugwuffin. Deletion. M-U-G. Wuffin. Yep. And then uh, just have a word with them, say you spoke to me, and call you in for an interview. Anytime in particular. Anytime you want, we'll take the thing. Thank you very much. Delicious. All right. All right. She didn't even question it. <laughs> they said we're stupid. She said adventures. She said, oh! All right. Michael Meyer. Michael Meyer, yeah. Michael fucking dog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was wondering, do as I Nobody's going to call the cops. Follow the Cops have the time. Chip off the block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't run. Hello, do please. I did not know you would be in London today. Oh, well, we are. Oh. I don't think he knows us. You are not meeting in the group today. No. 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 We're just visitors waiting for a bus. We're waiting to go back to where we live, in Yorkshire. Okay. I am from Switzerland. Are you? I have just oh. arrived in London today, and I am practicing the English in the park. Really? Oh, yes. I know. Yes. Okay. I guess very good. Good. Yes? Yes. Yeah, very good. good. Oh, yes. Will the anesthetist be yeah. present throughout the difficult operation? Yes, oh. that's good. Yeah, uh, yes. uh, who's up there? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody move! Words. This is a race! Oh, shit! We just stop to the nuts! Nobody move! No one gets hurt! Come on! Come on! I don't want any heroes! Come on! Nobody move! How do you do this, like... No. Go! Go! Come on, let's get out of here! They grab the nuts. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the tube. My name is Aaron. I am a commander in the Guardian Angels. This tube is now under the control of the Guardian Angels. There will be no violence. 
you are all <laughs> safe. Does anybody have a problem with that? Okay. <laughs> Imagine someone doing that in the subway. In New York? Yeah. Those were actually a real thing in New York. Like takeovers? Everybody okay? No, like the Guardian Angels. Everybody yeah. safe! Oh, well, I was oh! They're you still there. Follow the angel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just pack it up, you know. I don't need anymore. Please, when I am made to go to sleep, yeah. like my dog, yeah. please make sure this time I wake up. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very Very good. good. Very good. Yes. How long have you been learning English? For about two weeks, but I have, oh. I have one book, which is a medical journal. Yeah. So... Are you, a, are you in the medicine? Are you in medicine? Are you a doctor? No, I know doctors. Yeah. I, I, ha I, I have been visited many times by doctors. Let you in on a little secret, actually. You know, there's a couple of birds here, but there aren't as many birds here, are there, as there used to be? Um, I'm not sure that. No, there's a lot less now, I can assure you, because, um, well, you know, medically, doctors have told me that I shouldn't actually be alive, because uh, if there was such a record, you know, a world record for eating raw songbirds, <laughs> I think I might hold it, you know. I've <laughs> taken pigeon pie to an absolutely bigger dimension, really. I reckon on a rough estimate, you know, I must be up to about six and a half thousand raw songbirds I've eaten in the last year. Yeah. And, you know, they're not all tasty, but I feel I'm doing my bit for the park, and that's the main thing, isn't it? Easy. Okay. If you <laughs> could read my mind, love, what a No beard, no wigs, and no French. <laughs> Just like an old time. Oh, shit. About a ghost from a wishing well in a castle dark. Or a fortress strong with chains upon my feet. You know that ghost is me. And I will never be set <laughs> free. As long as I'm a ghost, you can't see. If I could read your mind, love. Like a paperback novel, She's not gonna work it. No. The kind the drugstore sells. This okay, is gonna work properly, but... is it? Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, so where's okay. the divide? Down there? That's where we'll key it so that so that we can keep you up. But what and you about won't see that. Hand with the mic? You well, won't see that. And then we keyed him without you getting in the way. So you won't see this at all? No. Okay. No, no, no. It doesn't feel awkward. Alright, ready? Okay, go on then, try that. Uh Zonda Rhodes, you're um a very well respected international f fashion designer. What's been the high point of your career so far? High point of my career, that's so difficult. I mean, this is, this I suppose is, really it? now building the museum so here in Bermondsey. I'm just gonna do oh. this. I can't do yeah. this with this, it's a but disgrace. I'm, I'm no, we're trying to separate. Oh. No, 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 I can't. No, it's a pain in the arse. No, it really is. On. I'm stuck Let on me the. Hold that. Oh. <laughs> it's just a pain in the arse. I'm, I'm not gonna do it like that. I'm. Ugh. Sorry, sorry. That's all right. I get cross too. I just, I've told you about doing stuff like this and now you're going to... We're separate out. All right, sorry. We're separate out. I'll stand out gonna... a tiny bit more. Six oh. feet, remember that? For COVID? I'm sorry, there's no way. <laughs> I told you it was my first go on this and you screw up. I hate you. You loser. You're a loser. I hate you. You ruin everything for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, buddy! That's it! I'm so tired. What the? I'm playing. That's all awesome. Yeah, some of these clips are, are random. That's a complete. What the? Not one person. 
This is yo. He's beating the soul out of him, bro. The brains. Of he, he's just looking. Look at this guy. Oh, all right. You gotta mind your own business. What are you saying, bro? That's not my problem. Excuse me. I can't stand people. Are you from right actually oh, from the village? Bro, you're not gonna. Do you actually live in the like village here? Hundred. I'll just uh, have because you lived still he's getting I'm assaulted. Bro, what do you mean? So you want to get assaulted, bro? What this like? I hate you know those clips you see of like old woman or something or some chick getting well, beat up. That's or different though. If it's a guy, yes, it's the same thing, bro. What are you saying? I'd help uh, like an uh, old lady or old person. Why? Why? Does it, why, why? Because he probably did some shit to deserve it. So if you, if you see a guy in a dog costume walking and beat the shit, but what do you mean he nobody deserves to get the soul beaten out of him? Bro, there's a lot of shit you could do to you deserve that shit. So none of you guys would help somebody. That's just me. It's still like being up. Him. I'm not helping. Him. Oh, you're a piece of shit. I know. Oh, if if it was one of my boys, I'd help him out. But for some why, 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 why? Because Don't. I know you. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. You, you, your, your standard was <laughs> your standard was he deserved it. If you're random. So if you did something to deserve getting fucked up, I don't. Know you want me to get fucked up too because huh? of you? I don't, bro. If I, I did something, I, I don't expect anyone to help me. Right. So then you shouldn't expect yourself to help him, even though that's your. Friend. I said I'd do it. But this is the confusing part. Your your standard. No, is I'm saying that I wouldn't help someone random. By that it's standard, like, yeah. Just if, the, no, no. Just in general, I don't okay. care about the standard. Just in general, I wouldn't help out a random like guy that's getting beat up. But if it's someone I know, of course I. So you saw somebody getting like fucking Jumped. assaulted, right? Yeah. Just it's not my problem. All right. No, I I, I join it. A little different. Did you join in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I've seen a lot of people get Especially beat the fuck up. I've never no. done anything. Yeah, why would I? If, if, but if I'm not. Talk, no, no, no. I'm not talking about like they're equally whatever. You get no, jumped. I've seen people like, get jumped, bro. I've seen people shit get jumped. Shit happens every day. I don't know. I do it. I've done it before. I've done it once, but I didn't like jump. I just like broke it up. It was these, you know, younger guys. I don't know. Wow, maybe it was just different. I don't fucking know. Like if I had a beer bottle in my hand, I saw somebody like in that exact scenario, minus the dog outfits. I mean, I'd probably get hit for assault too, to be honest yeah. with you, if I assault the guy. But I don't know. Whatever. I, there's just too many clips, bro. Like women getting beaten up or women slapped the shit out of her or something like that. Like Disneyland. Chicka, you saw the clip like three weeks ago? Chicken Disneyland got the shit beat out of her. Everybody's just like, oh. Yeah. Nobody does hell? anything. I'm just yeah, looking bro. around. I'm like, it's crazy. What the fuck is going on with people? Anyways, I don't know. All right, sorry. A little. Right, because what I'm looking for, I'm just, I'm just down here for the day from London. <laughs> yeah. And I'm trying to find out whether the village is mostly people who live here or whether it's more people who stay for the weekends. And I should yeah. think now it is more people that live here. Weekends and holidays and things. Right, so there might be a few houses that are <laughs> empty or no. in the week. Oh yes, yeah. 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 Well, like, wealthy people, do you think? Not or? like it was. Yeah, got to be to live here. Yeah. Right. Where would the sort of? I mean, obviously, I'm just interested <laughs> in the architecture and stuff, and I'm looking for where sort of wealthy people might live, but are not here in the week. Uh, well, I wouldn't know. I mean, yeah. I, I never go much further than the post office. And right. <laughs> do you think, I mean, these houses here, do you think anyone's living in them right oh, now? Oh, yes. They're all, those are all occupied. Right. Those are all occupied, except one that's up for sale. Ah, that one's empty, is it? Yeah, at the moment. Right. Yeah. I might go and have a look round yeah, ar sure. architecturally, just look at the roof and... Yeah. Windows. Has he got a back door at all? Or? Does he have duct tape on his shirt? Sure. Yeah. yeah, right. For those stripes. <laughs> uh, the worst, the public enemy number one. That's the most useless cop. Wow. You see what he's doing? Nah, first of all, bro. That car did that. He's trying to set him up move, bro. Look at that fucking car. <laughs> That's foul. Module 2. Clipping with lifts. Relax. Do not <laughs> lash out. You are enclosed, <laughs> but you are safe. Relax. Violence is never an answer. Learn to cope. Deal with it. If, if he's playing that shit, you're an extra. What's he gonna do? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's five years. Hello, please. You are from the building? Uh, I am from uh, Switzerland, from the conference. And I, I am looking for a room to empty uh, no. the bottom. <laughs> hmm? Your toilet. Empty the uh, bottom. Lavatory. Toilet. <laughs> what do you want to empty? I need to empty my bottom. Go over there. Downstairs. Okay. Yo, is he gonna take shit in the street? <laughs> I've got a package with a sort of tail in it. Do you know who it's for? Uh, it's for Jeremy Dyson. Yes. Sorry? It's for Jeremy Dyson. What the? Can you open your phone or something? Justin, it's the number one. No? Open your phone. Open your phone. Justin, it's urgent, but I find it very close. Yeah. Long gone, there's a distance far away. Is he gonna try to stop? If I believe that Oi! Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to stop it from people crossing it up. <laughs> I would probably just swipe around him if I could. Peter Stringfellow, can I just say firstly that it's a real joy to bump into you here on the street. Yeah. And uh, if I could just ask you, I mean, what do you think the secret to, to running a good nightclub is? Quite simple. You have to live in it, like I've done for the last 36 years. Save live in the us. nightclub. People know you live in the nightclub. You enjoy it. You do everything you do in a nightclub. You drink, you chase women, oh, you have great mind. sex. What? Hey, that's how you make a good nightclub. <laughs> and so how come only certain nightclubs work? I mean, some do, some don't. What's your particular secret, do you think? Well, nightclubs like this, it depends on how you start it. If you start it purely because of business and money, it's going to last a couple of years. <laughs> Two years, hey, that's the end of it. If you're going to start your nightclub because you like the lifestyle and live with it, then it'll go on forever. And I think that's the difference. And do you think there maybe is a secret between, I mean, is London a particularly good place to have a nightclub? <laughs> the only place to have a nightclub. That's for me. I came from Sheffield, uh, along to Leeds, Manchester. Uh, hello, everybody. But London is where I live, and London is the only place I would now open a nightclub of any calibre, believe me. Peter Stringfellow, thank you very much. He just kept looking straight at the camera the whole time, what the hell? Hello! <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm in the supermarket! Supermarket! No, I'm just shopping! Shopping, what do you want? Yeah, those Every day <laughs> when I'm <laughs> away, Wait, what the hell? <laughs> I'm thinking of you. They're not in the middle of Sounds about right. Everyone can carry this is, this is why it takes them a year to fill, fix one block. We, we, I, the mm, Portsmouth okay. uh, Sergeant Salt Brass Band. And uh, we'll be playing select few numbers uh, from our old repertoire, the Bible, we call it. And uh, just hope it whiles away the afternoon for you. Lovely afternoon here, and we very much enjoy playing for you people here. So off we go. This first one is a French number by Marcel Lambert, and it's called La Lune, La Fromage, Les Alpes et Mon Chien. So I hope you enjoy it. One, two, three, four, five, I feel like we could accidentally do better than this. <laughs> accidentally. I'm just saying. It's a little quiet. There's no way nobody watches. Oh, that's, a, that's a Joe Biden rally. Oh, 
<laughs> you're our one millionth customer and you've got 60 seconds to take the golden trolley following the golden errors around the supermarket back to the golden spot within a minute anything you put in there is yours sir excluding alcohol okay so time master if you can start it are you ready steady sweep sweep for goal go 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 sweep sweep follow the arrows <laughs> It's gonna be like he's robbing him, bro. <laughs> Yo, this is a savage eye show. What the hell? I've never heard of this. This is like a pranky, right? Like pre prank era. Huh. Yeah, okay. Orange. <laughs> Which that, one? That's orange. The orange disco? Yes. One second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a charge. This is the orange disco? Yeah. Excuse me, madam. Sorry to bother you, we're just, uh, I'm the park warden from the park um, and we've just, I'm responding to a, a, a call we just had at the park office of a complaint. This is Mr. Crazy Cat yeah. who um, does a little show in the children's playground yeah. and uh, it's quite an awkward situation but we've had a complaint of a lady matching your description hurling abuse at Mr. Cat and calling him an idiot. I didn't see no cat, I'm just after coming from, okay. from Avalar. That's fine, you know, I just have to follow these up because with a lady of your description Shouting that Mr. Cat was an idiot and I get a proper job. I wasn't in that part. I lived okay. here and I wasn't in that part okay. this year. Well, you understand we just have to follow, I have to follow up and okay. check these sort of things. Because obviously, Mr. Cat has a difficult enough job anyway. And obviously, if people who are supposedly grown up are hurling abuse at him, you know, it, it's, it's a depressing existence for him. So, okay. But if you ever feel like hurling abuse at him, possibly when he's not no, actually working. You didn't? No, I don't. Okay. All right. But if you do, don't. I don't. What I'm doing. To feel that you I never thought I could you know you don't often see the word I. Everybody touched that I had. Nobody ever uh, used his eyes. It's crazy. <laughs> ah. Did you actually take the time to sit down? No, I've time? never done this in my life. They charge you a lot in the city. It's like 50 bucks or something. Bro, they charge you like... $15 for a shish kebab. Do you think there's a, there's a place for townies to tell people in the countryside what to do? Or do you think sometimes they might have a point even? I think we live in a very um, quick and easy age. People want quick and easy food, quick and easy drinks. Actually doing an interview, do you mind? You just... <laughs> That's the problem with doing it here, isn't it? Well, you know, Am I just standing there? Okay. He'll tell you all that. Yeah. <laughs> you want to start the question again? Uh, yeah. Do you, um, Frederick Forsyth, do you think sometimes people in towns actually have a point, you know, when they're making points to the country? Yeah, <laughs> well, not often, I'm afraid, because I think we, we live in a very quick and easy age. We want quick and easy... Oh, he's doing it again. What are you going to do, mate? Oh, <laughs> okay. I believe it. You just make the mic. Hang on. You want to go after him? I'll get him, I'll get him. Okay. <laughs> I'll get him. <laughs> no, I'll leave Oh, Santa. I thought Santa was a giver, not a, not a thief. Yeah. He steals for the greater good. Yeah, look at it, look at it, look at it. It's called socialism. Stop it. Why he grab me? I ain't got nothing. I'm Santa. Hey, why are you trying to grab the junk? He's trying to grab the junk. Planted that on me. Oh yeah, hang on. You ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, Sam. Yeah, we got another one. Shall I send him through? 
Okay. Just through there. Straight through. Cheers, mate. Yo, oi! Can you at least admit the options are either run or help? Not standing like this. Learning no, French. I'm not gonna run. trips abroad. Repeat after me. I'm gonna break your bar up, you French frog eating bastard. <laughs> He's laughing. tous dans votre bar, espèce de mangeur de grenouille. You are going home in an ambulance. <laughs> In Leningrad, the boulevards are bigger than Paris, yes? I've never been to Leningrad. You have the briefcase? You are white bear? Huh? You are white bear? Uh -oh. You are white bear? White I'm here bear? to meet you what? with a briefcase. I'm sorry, you are not white bear. I'm sorry, I have made a mistake. Forgive me, forgive me, please. Not a word. <laughs> oh, my. oh, white bear. I hate your country. I hate your food. <laughs> I hate your language. And I hate your face. Je vous déteste. Je déteste votre pays. Je déteste votre cuisine. Je déteste votre langue. Et je déteste votre visage. Every day when I'm away, I'm thinking of you. Everyone can carry on. Funny thing is, that's like a perfectly paved road. <laughs> There's nothing there. And you know that I love And you know that I No cops are going to come? Right. Hello. Hello. Here to sing a carol. What are they going to do? Throw their That'd little right. rubber sticks at them? Yeah. Are you all alone? I am. <laughs> rubber sticks? Yeah. Yes. What, a dildo? No, batons, bro. Night. Batons are rubber? Holy yeah, I think so. Holy night. I don't think so. All uh, is calm. All is bright. Batons. He's right, that would be a dildo. A very big We're talking no, about dildos while he sings Holy Night. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are pieces of shit. But no, I thought they actually were made of some sort of No, it's it's uh, it's like it has to, it's like hard plastic. I don't know, something like that. Oh, oh, whatever. Okay. Oh. Should be made out of rubber. Huh? The what? police batons. He's saying police batons but they, they would they would be flimsy. No, bro. They're like no, hard no, plastic. No, not like flimsy, but they're some sort I don't know. They're metal. Nah, I don't know if that, I that, ain't that, no that, way. That, that's a fat rub. Yo, that, that if, they, if they were metal, bro. <laughs> nah. No, no, I'm pretty. I don't know. Maybe hard plastic. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? It's not a gun. Who cares? <laughs> it's not a boom, boom, dead, bye, bye. That's that's it. Sleepy yeah. heavenly right. peace. Sleepy heavenly peace. That was fun. A movie queen to play the scene.
Just like an old time movie About a ghost from a wishing well Take his hat, take his hat, take his hat so dark Ken Holm, hello. Can I just start by saying it's a real pleasure to meet you. Uh, you're one of my Thank favourite you. chefs. Thank and you. And can we start straight away with the all-important question? Yes. The wok. Round bottom or flat bottom? No, definitely flat bottom. Okay. Because uh, otherwise it won't stay on the hob. Uh-huh. You know, the round bottom is more for a, like an Asian hob. Or if you're in China, it's okay. <laughs> so what should I look for when I'm, when, when I'm going wok shopping? I mean, where should I do it? What, what do I look for? Well, it should be a very heavy-duty wok. Uh -huh. Really, really heavy, like that. And uh, um, it should be thick, quite thick. Uh -huh. And it should be of carbon steel. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, you want to make sure that uh, it I'm won't burn through. It. Um, hey! Excuse me, mate. Excuse me. We're just doing an interview, Mr. Home. Can you just give us five minutes? We're doing an interview with Ken Holm. We're just doing an interview with Ken Holm, mate. Well, you're on a yellow line. There's nothing I can do. Right? I'm doing an interview with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> One. Just doing the interview. <laughs> What's he doing? He ain't no real just, car. Yeah. They never leave us alone. Yeah, he's, 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 right? yeah. he's a rent a car. Just. <coughs> Wait! Sorry about that, Ken, but it's just yeah, like. They make me mad. They're just like. Ignore it. Just ignore it. Yeah. yeah, but they're just. You know. Yeah, fucking you meter maze. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. uh, sorry. Nah, Ken Home. People be yelling at What sort of wok should one look for when one's buying? Well, I think you should always get a flat bottom wok because that really rests very well. A European so, hub. So right. Let it go. Just come on, and I'll give you one, you bastard. Ah. <laughs> 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 All of us want to do that shit. All of us want to do that shit. Afternoon. Oh my. Lovely afternoon, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. I've just been looking at some of those uh, sculptures over there. Have you seen them, the stone ones? Yeah, yeah. Any idea who did them at all? Yeah, They're absolutely marvellous. I love the way they just dot them around the park and yeah, sort of. Very nice. It's sort of culture on the move, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Really Have you ever read Marvell at all, just, uh, the poet? Uh, no. Yeah, mm. He wrote a very interesting poem just about this, this park. Could I read you four lines? No, yeah, don't mind. It's called The Garden. How vainly men themselves amaze to win the palm, the oak, or bays. And their uncessant labours see, crowned from some single herb or tree. And he wrote this just about this area now. Good, it's beautiful, good. isn't it? It, is good, it brings you, I don't know, something about culture that just yeah. brings joy to the soul. Imagine that guy talking about trees and shit. Anyway, I must be off. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. See you. Trees, good ah, luck. fuck off. <laughs> good luck. Fuck off. Life is good. Grab it, grab it. Ha <laughs> Says I was. Yeah, just missing the Tim now. Stop him out. Love came for the soul. You better give me something to fill the hole. I am from uh, Switzerland. Really? Yes. And I am here uh, practicing the English. <laughs> How are you getting on? You are from Yorkshire? No, no, London. Yeah. Um, um. I can assure you that these eggs were fresh this morning. What eggs? Yeah. <laughs> I can assure you yeah. that these eggs were fresh this morning. Allow me to offer you a complimentary glass of champagne because the chef has ruined your meal. Oh. Hmm? Very nice. Is there anyone here in the restaurant who is medically equipped to deal with botulism? Yo! Bro. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> He's making it too hard. If it was like that, I'd have to say no joke. But it's called the cops. I mean, I'm not equipped for that situation.
Hello. Who is it? Your chimney sweep? Yes. Excellent. Hello. Hello. Thanks. We just got a dinner party tonight and the fire's completely blocked, so... Yeah. Um, Oh, yeah. So this is the the main bit. Not bits for me, you what? Yeah, sure. It's been blocked for um about a week. I don't know what it is. Do you normally use it then? Or eh? use well, it we sort of use it about this time of year, and right. that's about it. But if you just look up, there's a I don't know, it could be a pigeon or something. I think. Ah. Jesus! Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> Oi! Is he gonna go after it? Oh, oh, oh motherfucker. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Hey, I got the money. <laughs> I got the money. Just let her go, please. I've got the money. It's all yours here. It's all yours, just let her go, please. Oh, that was fine. It's all yours. Please, just let her go. I've been through enough, mate. Taking a run. Please. What the hell are you on about? Are you not the. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> I think I've got the wrong person. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry mate. mate. My fault. You um, a security person? No, I'm a Morris dancer. We uh, oh. we do the dance of the Morris, which has been going since 1542. Oh. And uh, I'm supposed to be here with my group. We normally dance in a group of nine people. And you can do that today? Well, unfortunately, I don't get on my group very well. I think they've played a rather ah. cruel <laughs> joke on me today and left me here because I think they're they're dancing somewhere else. Oh. So, but I could do a little quick one for you if you I'm like. Sure. It's uh, it's a very sort of traditional old dance. Sort okay. Of, uh, then we'll back. Bro, how are you not laughing at this? Well, because when you say traditional, that feel sense bad. jumps so nice. into that. I don't want to judge. You see, they don't want to judge. I don't give a fuck. I've learned through my family, you uh -huh. know. It takes years to practice, right. you can't just do that like that, you, you know. know. It's always returning to the same place at the same time, but you know you can't quit the this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Where the money is, where the two that? car families made or broke, allowed the truth with daily mirror mass, shooting those kids who say, <laughs> Stop this. <scene. laughs> I want to get off. Stop this city. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going. I'm sorry. Stop this city. <laughs> Good decision. I want to get up. Excuse me, mate. Can you do me a favour? Just hold the ladder while I come down, could you? No. Oh. Two secs. Do you mind? Oh, no. Oh. It's no. just slipping at the bottom a bit. I'll be down two secs. <clears throat> He's going to come down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Where is that? What? He's a robber. He's a robber. <laughs> 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 Sure. You are from London? Woo. No. Oh. I, I am from Switzerland and I am giving the speech today in the commerce chamber on the cuckoo clock. I have come out here now the what? and I cuckoo have clock. lost my Euro socket. Do you have a facility to power up a power book with the eggs? Are you aware of any place now 
where maybe I could stick a euro shock it oh. and maybe meet the people on the conference call. I don't know the electrical shop around here, I'm sorry. They euro might, shock uh, it. I am from Switzerland. Yeah, so I yeah. Leo Sayer, can I yeah. just say, absolute joy to meet you, real honour to nice meet you. It's nice to be you. here. And uh, I just the first question I want to ask you is, you know, you were obviously very, very successful, and now mm -hmm. you seem to have had even more of a resurgence. I mean, your music now seems to appeal more and more to more young people. What do you think it is that's bringing them all back? I don't know, I think it's survival, and I think it's the basically the us guys know how to do it. And, uh, yeah. you know, there's a lot of people who are kind of coming up who are kind of... They go through a kind of fame school, and we never went through that. We, we sort of grew, grew naturally into it and, and, and tried lots of things and just found out by happy accident and mistakes okay. and things like that. And do you think, I mean, do you see more success coming? I mean, do you, how, do you, is new albums? Uh, I mean, what's, no. what's up? I don't what's know, really. I mean, the latest thing is I'm, on a, I'm, I'm doing a, a comedy thing on uh, Channel 4, funnily enough. <laughs> Submarines in the harbour Incognito <laughs> Submarines of your dreams Not mine The red, red sky Must take the prize For giving to the people who never, never go to war <laughs> This, this remind me of a lot of uh of, of some other shows. Yeah. Like, what's that one do you, that we watched? The uh, Top Gear. Top Man. Gear. Yeah. It, it reminds me of that. Where they just a bunch go, of yeah. They go around shit. doing yeah, yeah. I guess this was like the prank shit before the prank shit. Yeah, that it was, was a prank era of like YouTube, but this was like yeah, actually yeah. I guess a show or something. Yeah, like uh, America's Funniest Home Videos and shit like that. I wonder how they don't get a or maybe they do. They run in trouble with the law. Oh, 100%. Because a lot of pranksters, did, that, that happens to them, that still happens to them. They run in tr uh, They still do it today. And then, they, yeah. they, you know, they get arrested yeah. multiple times. And get but released. these, this stuff is, like, harmless. Yeah, these are harmless, like, innocent it's jokes. Like public jokes. Now? Yeah, yeah no. but, like, if you piss somebody... Bro, you're telling me if you jumped somebody like that, right? Or if you did the stop sign thing, uh, uh, um, trying to act like a, a cop or some kind of government official. Well, some people are losers. Yeah. They file a complaint just because you got them upset. You catch them on the wrong yeah. day. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, it's entertaining, but um, nowadays you can't really do so much. You can go into Walmart exactly. and get the Now, cops now people go up to people them. acting like they could fuck them up and shit. Like, all these corny those fucking... Crazy, that's crazy. Dumb. Corny YouTube. And they those go, people deserve to get knocked out. They do. There's a lot of them. They go to, like, the Like, hood. the New York one. The yeah. New York Don't guy who was, in the, New York. who was in, like, JFK yeah. or something. Yeah. And he tried... He... he uh, Get the shit beat out of him. He bro. jokingly yeah. pulled out a knife or some shit, yeah. and then they, he got hit with like anti-terrorism charges and shit. Dumbass. New York got. You know how many bro. laws they have? Exactly. That they can just pin on. They're just laws just to pin on you. Yeah. They're not even like serious. They're just gonna get you with extra and extra time. Good. Don't, don't be hilarious. fucking retarded out here, bro. Yeah, it's so stupid. stupid. Clouds a drug, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a good video though. It, no, yeah, yeah, this was hilarious. Some, some of the longer yeah. videos, like compilations, are always are always good because. Especially when they do like the funniest moments. I yeah. guess that's what this was. Um, yeah. But yeah, I never heard of Trigger Happy TV. I'll be completely honest with you. Yeah. I, I don't Me know. Neither. If, I'm assuming it's a show. Yeah. Probably. It's a series too. So. Yeah, I, I know Ash. I know Ash said, uh, you know, our, our, our patron for a long time, one of our best patrons actually, she said, uh, or he, um, it was like, because yeah, obviously we're watching so many shows. So they're always like, you probably won't, you, you won't have time to get to it, but. You know, why, oh, see, yeah, look, it's only two seasons. Yeah. 2000. Yeah. But, yeah, shout out to you, yeah, Ash. Hidden camera, yeah. Those, those. Yeah, the hidden shit, exactly. That's actually kind of funny. Damn, that'd be a good, mm, yeah. That's that's what it is. We have our hands full with shows, obviously. I think we got, like, what, five shows right Damn, now? Damn, there's 40 episodes? Jesus. Two seasons. There's yeah, 20. 20 each. 20 yeah, each. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're probably Makes sense. Too. They're probably, like, the 30 minute ones, but... Um, yeah, shout out to Ash. Sorry, this couldn't get to you in a while. We had, well, you know, you're, you're on our Patreon. You know, we've had Wi Fi issues with uploading stuff and, and getting everything in order. But here it is. And there's always next month. So we will see what that recommendation is. But yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, it's probably going to go up on. This, I think this is going up on YouTube. So if you guys enjoy this video on YouTube, let us know. Um, yeah, see you guys next time.